Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. Before we get to the topics, two things in history I want to point out and have some fun with. On this day in history, Constantine, the latest, the last great Roman emperor who built Byzantine, built, built it all, baby. This guy was incredible. Remember, he converted Roman Empire to Catholicism, Catholic Church, Christianity. On this day in history, he made the world lazy. Why? He decided Sunday was going to be a day of rest. This is the guy that we owe our great relaxing Sundays to. Did you know that? I bet you didn't. Constantine, on this day, said Sunday shall be a day of rest. Also today, another man who changed our lives, Alexander Graham Bell got his patent for his phone, and the rest is history. Now let's talk about some stuff. State of the Union, state of the Union, state of confusion, state of disunion. This guy's got to go out and read from a teleprompter. Will he freeze up? Please freeze up. Please freeze up. I wonder how many times he's going to say, man, this is the United States of America, man. We can do anything, man. I wonder if he's going to have his Ray-Bans on. I wonder what they're going to juice him up with and stroll him out there. You know what? I'm, I'm not kidding you, folks. I'm going to watch it. It's going to be painful. And I would comment on it, but just so you know, remember, President Trump is going to do on True Social play-by-play -play response, which ought to be entertaining. You know, these networks are stupid. Stupid. If I, was, if I ran Fox News or any uh, CNN, what, any of these cable stations, you know what I'd offer him? Just think about this. CNN, he'd be reaching a whole new audience, right? I would say, you come on our show. We're going to split screen you. <laughs> we're going to split screen you and let you, you, you guys can go at it. I would do that. All right, the debate. Trump has said, anytime, anyplace, anywhere. Let's face it, this isn't going to be an impossible thing. He's screwed. Why? If he debates, he'll get destroyed. If he doesn't debate, destroyed. San Francisco crime, they passed two measures. One, to get welfare, you got to be drug tested. Two, law enforcement's going to have some more surveillance. Now they're trying to say, we're not progressive anymore. Folks, think about the harm and damage. Defund the police that went on in all these cities. The damage, the, it, it's immeasurable. Immeasurable. How do you not hold these people responsible for what they did to our cities? It's messed up. Chinese are working with the drug cartel to smuggle people into this country. It's incredible. Matt Gates says, Matt Gates says he wants some legislation uh, to block Jack Smith as election interference. We'll see whether he can do it or not. Haley voters for Biden. One of her packs is converting over to Haley voters for Biden. Think about this, folks. It's going to be the... You know how many Haley voters there are? I mean, it, this, everybody... This only place you're going to hear this, because I've seen all the analysis. Not one national pundit has said this. Do you know who the Haley voters are for the most part? Do they include some people that are never Trump? Absolutely. Most of them are people like this. Man, I really like Trump's policies, but I'm just tired of all the crap around him. And I would just like somebody else besides President Trump. You think that voter's going to vote for Joe Biden? Hell no. Trump will get the Haley voters. Uh, Chip Roy wants to pass legislation holding COVID uh, pharmacies and so forth responsible for any injury to vaccines. Oh, now they're doing it. The problem with this is going to be an ex post facto law. I don't know if it'll work. However, people don't know this. You see those commercials about the Marines? They had immunity. And the Democrats passed legislation to allow Marines to sue for that contaminated water down there in Lejeune. <laughs> Nice. I wish somebody would pass a law that says medical protective needs to pay the Durrani victims. $460 billion short-term funding. They're going to like do eight different bills. Michael Johnson's doing deal. North Face, you ready for this? North Face was offering discounts if you did some diversity training. Can you imagine going, well, I want to buy myself some North Face today. But before I do, I want a discount. I'm going to go ahead and do some diversity training. <laughs> Tom
Times Square, a nonprofit group is basically ticking time bomb about the national debt. Man, folks, it's coming. It's coming. I hope I'm liquid <laughs> and solid when it does. All right, Hutchell, the governor of New York. Think about this. What her in New York and Mike Adams did and the previous mayor to make crime ridden. Now they say, we're going to have the National Guard. We're not going to accept the crime at the subway system. We're going to recruit people, 1,000 people, blah, 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 blah. You created the goddamn problem. And then they want, what do they want? They want a cookie? That they're going to solve the problem? Political Munchausen, Munchausen is rampant in this country. Uh, Lake and Riley. It's now been discovered that the brother of this guy, who's in the United States, too, the brother, is a member of a Venezuelan crime gang that's trying to infiltrate the United States. Trying like hell, they're here. Biden says he would get in trouble if he answered questions. Now, I'm going to put this in perspective. If you are the president of the freaking United States, you ain't got a boss. But Joe does. Who is that boss? You know, Trump said something that caught my attention uh, the other night uh, on his speech. And he says, the fascists and Marxists are running this country through Joe Biden. And he's right. The fascists and Marxists of Barack Obama uh, and that whole gang is running this country through this senile old fart. It's, I mean, it's unbelievable. But you know what? It's finally coming, though. It's finally coming. And, and here's the thing. They're damned if they're due, damned if they don't. All these people that want Gavin Newsom, Michelle Obama, whatever. No, no, no. The record of their party has sealed their fate. And I want to tell you something. Lord Acton's quote, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. These folks do not want to give up power. And Hunter Biden needs him as president. Jill Biden's craving it. The Marxists has got their, their plan. They don't give it. So they're going to roll him out again, hold their breath, hope something bad happens and he can win. All right. Uh, New York Community Bank got an infusion. Their stock dropped 40%. Got an infusion of $1 billion. I'm telling you folks, stuff's coming. The United States government wants to sell our Northeast gas reserves to raise some money. How short-sighted dumbass is that? Uh, missile nearly kills the Greek prime minister when he was visiting with uh, Zelensky in Ukraine. Dean Phillips, the Democrat running against Joe Biden, has dropped out and endorsed Joe Biden. Trump says Karl Rove ought to be fired. I want to tell you something about Karl Rove. He's a bushy. And every time they have him on Fox News, he never says a positive about Trump. He's so blinded. And you know what he hates more than anything else? He's on the outside looking in. Sorry, Carl. Mitch McConnell endorsed Donald Trump yesterday. Let me tell you again what this is about. This is about McConnell giving up his Senate leadership and knowing that he's going to endorse him. It's the right thing to do. And let me just tell all of you something, okay? Politics can really suck. Um, as, you know, but th this coming together on parties always requires this. Is distasteful as it is. It's just political reality. Do you blame Trump? I don't blame Trump. I mean, McConnell's endorsed him. What's Trump supposed to do? Ah, I still hate you. Nikki Haley, by the way, is taking a huge political risk. Because, but, but see, you can make a ton of money being the leader of the minority. So that's what she's staking out. Because mega will never forgive her for not endorsing Trump. If she endorsed Trump, they'd forgive her eventually. They'll forgive DeSantis. But she's taking that risk. Uncommitted. Like 10% of the vote the other night was uncommitted to Joe Biden in the Democratic primary. Musk says he's not going to give money to Biden or Trump. April 25th is set for the United States Supreme Court or argument in the criminal immunity. Maybe I'll send a crack reporter to cover it live in Washington, D.C. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Do not be a gleeking, burly-boned measle like Tim Ash. <laughs>
Shakespeare and Saul today. Tim's in the studio today. Don't be a gleeking, burly-boned measle. By the way, folks, if you ever want to stop by and do the show, text me. We'll do a background check on you for security's sake. And you can come watch me do the show. Tim Ash does. Why? I have no freaking idea. But don't be a gleeking, burly-boned measle. Be an oracle.